Welcome to Nineworks TV. We're celebrating 30 years of the Porsche 993. I've assembled some top products here from Heritage Park Centre and beyond in the Porsche industry that I think is going to help you ensure that your beloved fourth generation 911 stays in tip top condition for another 30 years on the road and beyond. Now I've gone a little bit different today compared to what I usually do. It's usually a little bit more towards the modification side because that's something that I'm personally interested in. And the reason is that Porsche 993 has always been something of a halo car. The last air-cooled Porsche 911 has always enjoyed cult status, values have always remained quite high and buoyant. And it means that particularly here in the UK at least, owners have been slightly more reticent to modify the 993 in comparison to other 911 models. In this video, I've kind of been a bit sympathetic to that. Not all of the products in today's video are from Heritage Parts Centre, but it's worth taking a look at the website. There's over 25,000 Porsche and VW parts available here. And if you bang in the code 9 works 10 at the checkout, you get up to 10% off your basket. To be honest with you, the stock brakes on 993, whether it's Carrera 2, 4, Cab Coupe, Targa, because it's all the same, they're all the same. Um, they're pretty good, to be honest with you but there's always improvements to be made, particularly, as I said, bearing in mind that the car is three decades old. So I'm going with this to begin with, and it's a new master cylinder. This is a really neat upgrade. I've done it on my own 911, as I've documented previously. This will improve not only the braking performance of the 993, but also the pedal feel as well. In fitting something like this, you're gonna be stopping sharper, but also the brake pedal is gonna be a little bit less spongy underfoot. You fit one of these and you eliminate all of that. And the best thing is you do not alter that timeless appearance of the 993 Carrera, okay? Later braking does mean increased performance. You can carry more speed into a corner. You can eke out all of the best of that 272 horsepower or 285 for you Vario Ram guys and girls that the 993 has to offer. This is from TRW. The only difference really between a Porsche part and a TRW part, so I'm told to clarify, is the number that's stamped on the side, okay? I always therefore try and shop TRW where I can, and something like this, which is available on the Heritage website, is great value at just over 300 quid. I said I wouldn't alter the appearance. A subtle tweak, if you so wish, is to get the RS style cooling ducts, okay? They replace the fog lights in the front of the 993. It helps deliver the optimum conditions in order for your brakes to live up to their greatest performance possible. Again, a decent little tweak, a cool little tweak, I think just gives a little bit of that Ren Sport feel to your car without changing the appearance too much. It's such a subtle difference uh, in appearance at the front of the car. Most people may not even notice it. Great value at around 100 quid. Noise next. The 993, as I've shown in my previous videos, is such a good all-rounder, okay? And improves particularly over its predecessor in the 964 in the majority of ways. One area though that I would argue the 993 is let down on is noise. And in my opinion, noise is a crucial part of the sports car experience. You can tweak that quite silent factory soundtrack that the 993 has by dipping into the aftermarket. As here, I've got a lovely set of dance or rear silencers made from high quality polished stainless steel with, by the way, TUV approval. Aftermarket rear silencers, at the very least, are gonna unlock some of that flat six soundtrack that we know is in there somewhere, okay? Usually when it comes to aftermarket silencers, there are weight savings to be had. There could even be a performance gain. I don't wanna say that buying this is definitely gonna give you that, but it's a possibility and it's a billy bonus if it does. In terms of just soundtrack, which to my mind is part of the emotion of driving these sports cars, it's a dead set. And again, for under a thousand pounds, I think that's really good value. Staying with sound management, I've got a bit of a curveball here, you're not gonna expect this. We got this, sound absorber for the engine compartment, okay? Now, you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute. In one minute, you're trying to alleviate the flat six soundtrack, and then you're trying to mute it. Well, actually, this plays quite a crucial role in actually reducing a lot of the vibration and the unwanted noise that filters through into the cabin, okay? Now, as you can see, it's a foam product, just like the original part. This, after 30 years, you can only imagine how that's gonna look. So you can quite simply get a replacement. I bet you if you check your own sound absorption material that is in your 993, particularly if it's been there from factory, 
it will have had it. So for 53 quid, it's a nice upgrade. And I've also got something else that's gonna follow on quite nicely for this. It helps tidy up the appearance of this in the 993's engine bay. Staying with the engine bay insulation pad, your original may have succumbed to the inevitable sag, as you can see in this picture. Well, the Flat 6 Products Pad Tidy solves this for a much neater finish. A simple plastic part that attaches along the top opening of the engine bay using the original pad fixings. It's a great and cheap way to fix up and tidy up the engine bay of your 993 or indeed 964. Right, let's have a look at some maintenance items now because the 993 is 30 years old. To be entirely complimentary, the 993 is without a doubt one of the most well put together generations of the 911. Absolutely no doubt about it, but again, it's age, 30 years old. Some things are gonna be perished over time, despite Porsche's uh, reputation for engineering excellency. Perhaps the most obvious one on the 993 is this little bad boy, the door check strap, okay? Now these go, particularly on the driver's door, because obviously that's gonna be the door that's open and closed the most. And after 30 years of open, close, open, close, open, close, these things can fail. You'll know if you've got a failed door check strap because when you open the door, first of all, you're gonna hear quite um, an unpleasant click or clunk coming from within the hinge part of the door, but also the door when you open it is gonna feel quite flappy. This is gonna be your answer to solve that. It's a replacement part. It's 24 quid from Heritage Parts Centre, courtesy of URO. It's got a guaranteed fitment, a 24 month unlimited mileage warranty as well. It's made here, it says, from high quality materials. And crucially, it's manufactured to OE dimensions. That basically means you're gonna have good, easy installation process. Once you've opened the door, what's the next thing you're gonna do? You're gonna to attempt to get in the 993. You might at that point notice that your door sill protectors in being 30 years old, are looking a little bit worn, a little bit secondhand at that point, okay? Lots of scuff marks, 30 years of people getting in and out of the car in all different shoes, weathers, and uh, levels of due care and attention as well, okay? So there's gonna be lots of scuffs along that seal. The obvious answer to improve all of that is to get yourself a replacement pair. 27 quid here from Heritage Parts Centre, polished stainless steel, gives that car the nice shiny look that you deserve every time you get in your lovely 993. Incidentally, those seal protectors don't just fit 993s, they'll fit any 911 and 912 from 1963 right up to the end of air-cooled production in 1998. Okay, so you've opened the door to your 993, you've sat in, you've swung your legs round over your nice shiny new door seal protectors. You may wish to put the window down next. Hmm, what's that? You can't do it because your motor's failed. We've got your back. Heritage stock this window regulator motor uh, for left and right doors. If it's coupe, target and cabrio models, they're all the same. Again, these just fail over time, so you need to get a replacement part. You can go down the official Porsche route, or you can get this one for around about 125 quid. This part coming from Dansk. To finish, a couple of bits to lift the interior now. And this, again, it kind of sits in the door, but it's worthwhile. So we've got the interior doorknob set. From the factory 30 years ago, these were plastic. They could snap over time, of course, but I just, for a car that otherwise is so well put together, kind of looks and feels a little bit cheap, okay? Now this little option here is gonna be the answer to all of that. It's 31 quid, it's in black anodized aluminium with a chrome cap, but again, in my opinion, looks better and feels better. Super easy and quick to fit as well. Something else that's a subtle lift in the interior, I think is completely worthwhile is replacing the steering wheel. Now, a lot of you watching this as 993 owners, you'll have that original four spoke steering wheel. That wheel instantly was carried over into early 996 models as well. In my opinion, it's not the greatest looking wheel to ever be fitted to a Porsche sports car. Thankfully, there are lots of options uh, to switch things up. I've mentioned before in my videos here at Heritage Parts that they stock Momo, Mod 7s and Prototipos. If it was me and I was, uh, had a 903 and was wanting to switch things up, I'd actually get the Club Sport inspired wheel. It's three spokes, slightly smaller in diameter, but gives you that quality Porsche feel with the crest in the middle, the horn push. As standard, of course, that wheel was fitted to the 993 RS. It's a really, really nice upgrade for any 993 derivative. Interesting fact for you, Mr. Tony Hatter, designer of the 993 no less, who has his own 993 Cabriolet, he has one of these fitted. I just think it really lifts the cabin in terms of how it looks, but also the feel as well. You might also wish 
to get an adapter that lifts the wheel ever so slightly up, just brings it away from your knees, I think really nails the position of the wheel on the 993. Something to consider and bear in mind, okay? Two items left, one fits firmly in the practical point of view, it's PCCM. PCCM is a brilliant bit of kit, it gives you all that modern infotainment that you probably need in this day and age in terms of maps, uh, Spotify podcasts such as Nine Works Radio and everything else and shoehorns it into your classic 911 without interrupting that timeless look of the interior. It's a single DIN unit, it slots into the same position and crucially looks like it was always meant to be there. It's a worthwhile upgrade, definitely have a look at that, it's via Porsche Classic online. I've got one more product for this video and I've saved it till last because it's probably the most controversial of all uh, that I've mentioned. It's gonna be down to taste and style, okay? I mean, it's a new light unit. Now these were fitted to Carrera 4 and turbo models from 1995 onwards as standard. But if you're rocking an earlier model than that, so the 1993 and 94 model years, it's a really nice upgrade, okay? My pal Andy, co-host on the Nymex Radio podcast, he had a set just like these fitted to his 993. I thought it looked sensational. It's a great upgrade. You might also want to take a look at your rear lights anyway because the lenses may have cracked. Again, 30 years uh, of car park dings and whatnot can put the plastic under some sort of strain. If you're in that position and you want to upgrade, it might be worth going for this. It gives you a cleaner look that I like, you may not. And that's about it. I hope you'll agree that a lot of my choices today have been rather sympathetic to certainly the OE look of the 993 and not disrupting that originality piece too much that is definitely uh, prevalent among owners of 993s. There are many different routes you can go down and if you want to go a bit more hardcore with your modifying, I'm going to pop a link here and in the description below to a quadruple test I did of four modified 993s around a year ago now. Vastly different results, all absolutely brilliant, worth checking out. Otherwise, if you're shopping for parts, of course, shop around. If you do end up on the Heritage website, don't forget to bang in Nineworks 10 at the checkout for up to 10% off your basket. And I'll see you again soon for some more top products to improve our beloved Porsche 911s.